Okay, sir. There you go. Uh, batch number forty-one, and and to all the friends who have, uh, this is your first class for you. Something when you listen to the session, you will come to know. Uh, we talked about the story of SQL Server. Why did Microsoft create a product? It's a Microsoft product, so all of you know it. So why did Microsoft create SQL Server? What was the necessity? That story we discussed. I'm not talking about it now, but you can check it. Finish the video. You'll understand. Sir. Next one. Oh, SQL Server is available in different versions. Versions means oldest version to the latest version. So versions are common in every software, right? Uh, we all are using Microsoft Office, right? Office, Microsoft Office. What is the latest Microsoft Office that we have in the market today? Microsoft Office. 2019. 2019. 2019. 2019. 2019. 2019. The latest one. 2022 or 2023, something is coming up. I, I 365 also booming up. 365 is also there. Mm -hmm. So, okay, sir. So, that's fine. Yeah, it's okay. Hey, so, in the background, whatever sounds come up, it's okay. And I think so we are living in a very tough time and we have to support each other. So now, now coming back to the points, like Microsoft Office, the latest version we have in the market now is 2019. Office means Word, Excel, PowerPoint, all that. Before 2019, we had uh, 2016. 17. 17. Also. 17, uh, okay, 2019. Before that, is it 17 or 16? Okay, something. Like 17 that. is there before the 2013. 10. Uh, 17, 17 is there. Then before that, it is 13, 2013. 13. Before that, it is 2010, is 2007, is right? Before 2010, yeah, 2007 was a very famous. Yeah. yeah. And, and so Microsoft 2003 also was there. So, yeah, so yeah. All, all these are versions of Microsoft Office uh, like that. Same way, SQL Server also has got lots of versions. In uh, 15.0, our latest version, it's called as SQL Server 2019, the latest version. 17 we have. Okay, and we have uh, 16, and we have, let me mute everybody, so I'm so sorry. Yeah, so 19 we have, 17 we have, 16 we have, 14 we have, all these are previous versions. Sir. In the middle, cloud versions also came, which, which we'll discuss in a separate topic, cloud databases. These are all versions of SQL Server. Can I move on? And we're not talking about it now, so you, when you watch the session, you will come to me. Moving on. So after that, uh, what is SQL Server we discussed in simple lines? What is SQL Server? SQL Server is a database software. Everybody knows it. So which type of people use it? So DBAs use it, developers use it, and BI, business intelligence people who prepare some nice graphical reports, they also use it. Three categories of people. What are the components of SQL Server? There are main four. Excuse me. SQL Server is available in four components mainly. Database services, analysis services, reporting services, integration services. Database services will store data. Analysis services will store historical data, old data of the company. So if the company is 100 years old, last five years you will see in database services, 95 years you will be seeing in analysis services. So these are two types of databases. One that stores recent data, one that stores old data. So two categories of databases. Okay. Next one is... Next one is, we talked about some story about databases, where it started, historical, old story, sir. So, so flat files, the story started like this, flat files, uh, listen, to the, listen to the video, please, you'll understand. And then, sir, the word processors came, then spreadsheets came. How evolution happened is what I'm talking about. After that, the database concept was introduced. After introducing database concept, I'll move on. Yeah. So, uh, Notepad, Word document, Excel, Microsoft Access, and then SQL Server came. This is Microsoft evolution story. Okay. And then after that, sir, DBMS. What is DBMS? We discussed in the class. Um, and after DBMS, what is uh, what are different data models? Hierarchical model. That's what uh, our friend uh, uh, so sorry, Gautam. Gautam was saying. <laughs> so about uh, tally tally using the hierarchical model and then sir, a network model and then relational model so sql server uses relational model that's that's the story of when so who is the father of rdbms and all that discussions we have done and finally last friday we talked about um, editions of sql servers editions of sql server means that like if you go to market and purchase one car let's say you're purchasing one car 
the car is available in different editions. Limited edition cars will be there, am I right? Limited edition cars, which you don't find them so easily. Or mm, petrol edition, diesel edition. In petrol also, high and higher edition, middle variant, lower variant, different options. They come with different features, right? The highest one will come with airbag or something like that, or sunroof and all that. So that's how you send it. In the same way, SQL Server also, these many options are not available. Don't look at that many options and get confused, sir. Definitely not. So the whatever are underlined, right? Only those are available. So one, two, three, four, five. Five editions are available. This also I would request you to listen to the session to understand. So after that, and 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 then, so after that, the last topic that we discussed on Friday was licensing. Licensing is nothing but. How much should I pay to Microsoft to get the license of SQL Server? May I ask you all the friends here, sir, how much do we have to pay to Microsoft to purchase a license of SQL Server? The, the based on the numbers that you saw in the question. Server or course. Uh, how much? Are you? Cost, cost. Each, cost. Core. Each core was costing how much? $3,300. Uh -huh. $3,300. Uh -huh. Nay, uh, for two core pack, how much was it? Sir? $13,000. $13,748. $13, $13, $13, $13, $13, $13, $13, $13, $13, $13, $13, $13, $13, $13, $13, $13, $13, $13, $13, $13, $13, $13, $13, $13, $13, $13, $13, $13, $13, $13, $13, $13, $13, $
so sorry the picture is not perfect don't blame me sir somebody has some artist has drawn this it's available on google you can also find it so that's not me who has drawn this i would have drawn it even detailed if i have to draw you will see that in level 3 so you submit a query the query or or a command the command will be going to parser parser's job is very very simple sir parser will check the syntax whether you type the command correctly or not that's all its job is nothing much <clears throat> parser parse sir so english meaning of parse means what can somebody help me you can check on <clears throat> google and tell me what is parse or i can also do it for you just a minute sir english meaning of parse okay resolve right yeah resolve resolve a sentence take a sentence and resolve it into component parts meaning take an english line sir break it into parts and describe each and every this is this is noun this is adjective this is pronoun this is that this is this that, that that's all words i know so i'm so sorry if i forgot something so what is preposition so that means that is nothing but taking the english line or english or any language line and breaking into grammar grammatical parts that is the english meaning of components that's a parse same applies in sql server when you submit a query to sql server see the act of parsing is nothing but taking a text and breaking into pieces and checking each and every word syntax spelling is correct or not that is the ideal meaning of parsing any questions anybody clear right sir compare with english meaning of parsing that's all about parsing and sir now parsing is done right see where employee number equal to 123 direct sir directly directly avinash has given where employee number equal to 123 now avinash can do a trick also avinash can say where employee number equal to 120 plus 3 that means what sir first you want to do a mathematical calculation 120 plus 3 and then do the then do the further checking right that's where you are algebraizer wherever you have mathematical calculations and also this guy comes into picture if there are no mathematical calculations you don't need this guy okay so now you typed in english right the command is typed in english the english command must be converted into machine understandable command because computers don't understand english so what it will do compiler there is a small code called compiler this guy job is to convert the english sentence that you have written into machine understandable language what is that and all you will see later i will show demos also but machine understandable language it will convert sir okay then sir optimizer optimizer job is to execute the query now the course the logic the logic so what will optimizer do it will take the command in machine understandable format it will take and it will start executing it it will start finding employee number 123 oh okay oh here this guy is and sir now there are 1 lakh employees in the company how should this optimizer use brain and get 123's employees information quickly strategy right strategy main core strategy so optimizer is the brain of sql server believe me everyone remember this word optimizer is the brain of sql server so by, by the way everybody this all happens if you install sql server so I, we have not still installed we are about to install okay which you will do but before installation i am telling you the purpose of sql server so why do we install we install because people will have lots of questions on the databases or queries they fire the query this is exactly the order of how execution happens detailed architecture step by step i will show you in level 3 which is actually little later so today i am just talking about a basic architecture a very very basic architecture of sql server i repeat sir a query comes or a command comes parser will pick it up parser will do what syntax check spelling mistakes all these things it will verify nothing more than that sir and then parser will send logic send that to the will check if there are any algebra error or algebra error or something any mathematical calculations are there or not okay and then sir compiler will compile the code convert that into machine understandable language and then optimizer will pick it up sir and do optimize optimize sir english meaning again optimize can somebody help me again english meaning of optimize sir make it better sorry sorry correcting okay perfect correcting Opt 
optimal optimal means perfect perfection towards perfection what can i do to make it better what can i do to make this query run fast okay so so that's all so optimizer spray okay so one 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 question i'll ask you all uh, how many of you can make kfc chicken at home do you know it's possible no 100% possible so go to youtube and search for kfc recipe kfc secret recipe you types then you will come to know i'm not kidding i'm very serious so please try it if or i'm sorry this question is only for non vegetarians i'm talking about vegetarians excuse us for this conversation so optimizer say why is say, still even no matter you watch the best kfc recipe video and make at home sir it will not be like kfc that's guaranteed if gautam is making it it becomes gfc if i am making it okay right kfc only but still sir technically speaking it would not be the same because we don't have the exact ingredients they have right they would not so kfc will protect its it, it's it's secret coke coke sir coke for that matter right coke has already coke and pepsi right they have already made their formula secret they don't want to reveal anyone because still it doesn't sound like that it doesn't smell like that it doesn't taste like that so same way sir optimizer is the logic of microsoft sql sir microsoft will never ever reveal optimizer code to anyone same way oracle oracle database will never ever reveal their internal processing power to anyone i'm sure gautam's team tally tally also will never reveal their internal no, core, core core logic to anyone right core logic so, same way everyone optimizer is a secret part of microsoft and they are protected very carefully so optimizer decides how queries must run perfectly in the good way in the right way fastest way uh, anyways i think we will stop here and sir finally execution happens uh, there are some areas which i am okay sql manager managers don't work managers sir, make no, people work. I, i have a doubt sir yes nash yes please yes. actually you told me that query optimizer right yes so uh, how it can uh, it can improve the uh, query fast uh, what it can do is it will go and see how many what, what, employee number 123 is there how many times obviously employee number will be there only one time one employee one time so it knows where, in where it can check sir uh, stats data which will talk in level 3 so i think maybe uh, this is our first session on first time so it will go and check in the stats stats are the important thing statistics yeah statistics it comes under edu uh, education plan or something else No, no, no. Execution plan comes, of course. So, first part is execution. So, I mean, I'm not bringing all those words at this moment because many of them have no idea yet. So, um, but we will talk about that in level three in the architecture topic. This is basic architecture piece. So, we will talk mm -hmm. about advanced architecture. Of course, very execution plans are there, statistics are there. So, but it comes from statistics, sir, not from the execution plan. Plan is already made. I mean, plan is already made. Once you execute a query, plan is created. so for the data i'm saying how quickly can i get 123 employees data stats will tell you how to get that data 123 quickly we'll discuss we'll discuss in detail okay so so uh, any other questions anybody else sir? that's all that's all sir. now finally uh, execution happens then execution will ex execution will execute the query execution area will execute the query managers as the name says managers will manage this guy monitors the whole process was going properly or not okay and finally so your database is present here at the bottom storage engine so once your query is executed your data will be taken and given to you so please if it is causing any kind of confusion to anybody at this moment stop it because my agenda is to only tell you that hey this is how sql server architecture looks like in level 3 we will be talking about what is lock manager what is memory manager what is scheduler what is synchronization service what is buffer pool all these things are yet to be discussed This is just a basic skeleton architecture we are talking about. And Raj Shekhar has just now he asked a question about execution plan. All these things are coming up. So they are a step ahead. But for today's discussion, it's a basic, basic and a basic architecture. Are you clear now? Okay. Any questions? Anybody have can interrupt me. If not, sir, we will go ahead and start the installation right now. so if you install sql server in any laptop or any server or anywhere sir this is what you are going to install this is called as engine when you install sql server 
an engine gets installed in your systems. Engine means a main software. Engine gets installed. You need to put the engine in your system. That's it. And what answer? Like that, in one laptop or in one machine, you can install 50 engines if you want. 50 instances or 50 engines you can install. But Kelly, why do you need 50? Is one not sufficient? One is sufficient. If somebody wants two, three extra, so you can always install more, but max 50 instances. Okay, Chuck, we'll, we'll, that's where we are heading now. So, uh, yeah. any, yes, I did. Yeah, um, there is CLR. What is the CLR? So, yeah, so what, some of the components I did not touch them wantedly. Okay. So, the reason is we will talk about CLR means common language runtime, CLR. So, what happens in CLR? In simple words, I will tell. Um, see, you can execute Java code also inside SQL Server. You can inside you can execute .NET code also. CLR, common language runtime. So it's a common runtime in area where any language code can be executed. So if I cost any, if I did not give proper answer, level three. Level three is the place we will talk about all these things. And I'm sorry, I had to. So sorry, Rashikar, I stopped you also because this, the intent was to talk about these things in level three because not. Hi, it's okay, they, yeah, yeah, thank you. Yes, Kaka. Yeah, um, actually, you said that 50 instances we can install, right? That means it will detect the any hardware uh, address, something like that, and it will stop or. Hmm. It will. It will identify. At a time, 50. At a time, 50 or uh, one after the other, 50 also like. One that after 50. the one after the other, sir. Because at a time, okay. 50 we can't install. Okay. One you install, then the second, then third, then fourth. Hmm. Uh, whenever you are installing every instance, right? It will every engine. It will go and check previously how many engines are there. The check happens internally, so it will not allow you to install more than fifty. It will say stop at fifty. So, uh, Gautam, there are <clears throat> so many of our friends who thought, no, I will test this. I will not believe Kelly. No, actually, okay, for fine. our clients and all, we will be installing two three management studios, and we were. Uh, ah, no, I'm just telling that. A few of our friends who were like very who wanted to try and this 50 times they installed to test it 51st mm -hmm. time it fails anyway so but so i'm saving your time if somebody wants to definitely try it out i'll be more than happy to support your experiment but yeah so the, not you i'm saying previous batches sir, just for fun um and 50 is uh, remember this count okay 50 engines we can install in one machine in one laptop it could be server or it could be anywhere with that sir i'm jumping into the next uh, installation because today we have to start this topic in a few minutes more, you will be seeing another slide coming up. So, uh, requesting all of you because we are we are we will be talking about every aspect, sir, every topic. Uh, we will start with installation, but before starting installation, I'll be explaining some sir, initial I like to ask initial, uh, before, in, initial before Yes, please. Yeah, yeah. go ahead. Go ahead yeah, actually, is there any difference between 2014 version and 2016 version, sir, for installation? 14, 16 are see. Okay, on the screen, please. Something on the screen for you. So we will be starting with 2005 installations first, everyone. We'll be starting with SQL Server 2005, our oldest version of SQL Server. Oldest name, sorry, before 2005 also we have some more. Can somebody help me? 2000? Now we are going to start 7, 7.0. 7.0, 6.0. 9.9, backwards, backwards. 6.5. 6.5. Sir, 2005. You are working on 6.5 and 7.0. Yeah, you said. So 2000, exactly. So, so 2005, now, go backwards. So, it's 2000. 2000 we have? 19, 7.0 we have. 7.0, 6.5. 6.5. 6.5. 6.0. 4.2. 1.1. 1.0. That is, this is the story of all the versions. But anyways, why 2005 exclusively we are starting is the point now. For everyone, we are starting with 2005 now because that is, <clears throat> that is the game changer for Microsoft. Microsoft started seeing extreme success in database area from 2005. And that's why we are starting. And by the way, that is a dead product now. 2005 is gone, sir. But still, wantedly, we are going back to older version and talking about it. So our first installation will be on what? 2005. Followed by... 2008 or 8R2 because both are same, almost same. That is why we will do one of the versions. Okay. Then, uh, uh, Raj Shikhar, before I come to your question, between 12 and 14, they are almost the same with a couple of new features added. That's all between 12 and 14. And sir, 14 and 16 are different because 16 came up with lots of new features. 
So we can't say 14 and 16 are same. No, they are not. And 16, 17, 19 are next questions. They are not same again. They are different, sir. So, so guys, everybody, uh, to, uh, before I answer Rashtrakar's question to all of you, sir, let us go with every version one by one. Let us see the oldest version, 2005, to the latest version, 2019. Is that clear, sir? Oldest version, 2005, to latest version, 2019. Why we are doing all these installations? Because, sir, if we know each and every installation, it will be so easy and you will see you know how the transition will be bell bottom hmm. sir i just asked you that one second i think uh, one second so shushan uh, uh, i'm so sorry shushan we right you know you know you know the trend of fashion so please help yes, us sir. bell bottom like bell bottom pants in the olden days right 80s 70s bell bottom then again came Boyfriend. some other uh, yes. uh, the jeans, right? Denim came later, uh, yes. and now now denim styles have changed. Sir. So you will pencil see the evolution. Cut. Now, sorry, what was that? Pencil cut. Pencil. I don't know that. What is it? So what, what is it? That's the skinny jeans, sir. The one which sticks to your. Much of the legs. Okay, so pencil cut. Okay. Thank you, Tasif. So 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 this evolution. So let's see how ugly and old 2005 used to look like. And how wonderful it looks like. So that is the evolution process that we are going to talk here. Yes, Rashik. So now I just please. to ask you one th one thing, sir. Uh, before 2014, after 2014, is there any difference? For a lot of difference. Lot of difference. Sir. There's so can many another, features that have come. Another, can another, sir? Uh, but maybe not relevant now, right? So we should talk about them once we complete all the installations. Once all installations are done. Then we go and talk about 14, 16, what is the difference will be better. Because nobody has seen the installations yet, right? That's why, Rash. If you have any questions offline, we can talk about it offline. Okay, no. Done. okay everyone. Chalo, 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 chalo. Let's move on. Everybody. Uh, so sh sh are we clear? What's our first installation of today? 2005. Five. Yeah. So, uh, sorry? Kirti? 2005. Yeah, 2005. Uh, whichever version, 2005 or 2008 or 8 or 2 or 12 or 14 or 16 or 17 or 19, whichever version. So, so first, always, everybody should remember three three layers of a laptop, laptop or hardware, laptop, server, system, anything. Sir. Three layers we should know. First one, sir. what is the processor available in your system? Always ask this question. It's a, without knowing processor, how can you start installation? Come on. Do you have a 32-bit processor? Or do you have a 64-bit processor? Or do you have a Itanium processor? Itanium 64. So there are three variants of processors available. But hold on, one second, one second. The story is, thanks to the hardware industry, that confusion is gone now. Anybody goes to the market and purchases a laptop now, you only get one. That is 64-bit systems. Every laptop that you have, I'm sure all of you, whatever laptops you all are having, unless and until the laptop is a is a oh, eight no. years old, uh, eight years old one, that might be 32 bit, but might be that also we don't know. We have to check. Both it will support 32 and 64 also. Uh, older yeah, ones. older older ones, right? So now yeah. in that note, sir, everybody just go to start run. I showed this command earlier also. Again, I'm showing MS Info 32. MS Info 32. If you go there. So you can see what in your system you can see, sir. Is it a 32-bit system or is it a 64-bit system? This is a 64-bit system, which I have now. That means it's latest one. And you, I'm very sure that all of your laptops will be latest only. Can somebody check and tell me if you see anything more than 64-bit? Please confirm us, sir. If it is 64, no need to reply. If it is 32, can you please tell? Katie, this is the old laptop that I have. This is 32-bit. Okay, I'm sure I'll not get an answer. Very sure, but let's wait and watch. We never know. So, so MS Info 32 will tell you your system is a 32-bit system or a 64-bit system. Sir, always know your processor. First, no processor. Okay, after processor, the red box, red circle, then look at the green circle. Hardware, on the hardware, what do you have, sir? Operating system, Increased. Windows operating system. Okay, so yeah, if hardware is 64-bit, what do you think, sir? Your operating system will be 32-bit? Definitely not. Be, a... So it should fit, right? So if your hardware is 64-bit, obviously your operating system also will be 64-bit. 
and sir on the operating system you install applications right like sql server or or vlc player or adobe pdf reader or or, or, or tell me some names please software converters any mp3 converters uh, converters or any any software that you install sir any software that you install any application that you teams. install teams teams so any software that you install remember one important point sir software also will be 32 bit or 64 64 so sir all depends on your processor first what is your processor is your processor 32 bit or 64 bit is what everybody should know second point sir what is the operating system everybody should know depending on your processor your operating system will change and depending on your operating system your application will have to be installed so this is a hierarchy and and, and before that sir before not, not wasting any more time uh, not today if you go back few years sir four years back if you go four to five years back there were three options in the market so for example avinash and i went to purchase a new laptop five years back i'm saying sir. then we would have gone and market in the market the person whoever is selling would have told us hey what do you want sir uh, 32 bit also we have but this is outdated he will tell the same and say, hey 64 bit updated we have hey we have itanium also which is even faster but itanium sir itanium processors are designed for uh, servers uh, and they are also ever not available now that technology is gone so uh, there are two companies called intel and h called in intel and hp these two companies came together and made a wonderful hardware called itanium but that did not last for long sir that was dead so uh, to avoid all confusions to all my friends here just asking openly two things please either you have a 32 bit system or you have a 64 bit system kedi you are only telling from one side entire market is 64 bit then why are you bringing this slide first of all so i am bringing this slide because let's say uh, let's say ajay is working in xyz company in his company he may have old servers old legacy old servers sir, which could be dash 32 bit yeah and he may have new About... servers which all are 64 bit so we never know yes kakam you're saying something no no just uh, is about to dead legacy systems even you are uh, feared about of your old server yeah we uh, so <laughs> the 6.5 7.0 what we have in office Definitely they all are 32 bit systems only very yeah. old ones so 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 yes you may see a 32 bit system in your office so keep me for example you joined xyz company a new one where they have asked you to install sql server on a old machine what is the first thing you will check obviously it's 32 bit or 64 bit right old machine the moment old word comes you will be scared like oh my god this can be 32 also let me check okay sir so don't it's not about blindly going and installing a sql server software it's about validating checking and then install with that being said sir let's move on so first of all i think even before i move on i should tell you all what is difference between 32 what, what is 32 what is 64 so in two minutes, I will explain this. I'll go to the next slot. Two minutes, I'll explain. What is 32? What is 64? The hardware. So that 32-bit systems support old hardware. Old hardware. They are old hardware. They are designed in olden days. So 2 to the power of 32. Any mathematical experts here who can explain me what is 2 to the power of 32? Or, or sir, you all know, right? Google is very good. Google is wonderful. 2 to the power of okay. easy right thanks to google sir. we can't live without it so so now here is the number Four uh, uh, let's not do this calculation also of what it is but but one thing sir if you look at this number two to the power of 32 everyone two to the power of 32 means sir, let's come back 4 GB. 4 GB. That means, sir, in 2 to the power of, meaning 32 bit systems, they can have a RAM of 4 GB only. Sir, I'll ask you all a simple question. Nowadays, all our phones have about 12 GB, 16 GB. Oh, if you leave 32 GB, next, next 64 is also coming up for mobile devices, I'm saying, not even laptops. So you tell me, six years back, seven years back, how much was the maximum RAM on your phone? 2 GB, 1 GB, 1 GB, 2 GB, 4 GB max. 4 means like wow is what wow. used to feel like. 4 GB means I'm talking about 6-7 years back, sir. 
why suddenly this upgrade happened sir 12 gb 16 gb now you got the answer you know the answer older phones were 32 processor, bit phones sir the yes. qualcom right qualcom or whatever processor you have on your phones mm-hmm. they all were 32 bit processors earlier now they all are 64 bits that is why still i think a uh, lot of improvement is yet to come because now our phones have what i am having a 12 gb phone sir you might be having a 16 gb or i think which phone is that which has 16 gb ram right now uh which phone is that sir which has 16 gb ram right now 32 also coming rog asus ah, ROG. You, asus 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 rog thank you who, who gave the uh, rishab expected so so asus phone has got uh, 16 gb ram 32 gb coming up sir well, asus asus rog uh, uh, a rog phone is a gaming phone actually so 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 like that sir. so now technically what i'm saying is 32 bit systems cannot have more than 4 gb ram 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 every system will have processor ram hard drive three components of every system processor ram hard drive hard drive will store the data ram will help you to temporarily hold the data <coughs> processor will do the calculations these three things are compulsory sir so i'm not wasting time because this is very very important to give you the introductory level discussion so sorry installation is about to start but these all things are important so asking a last question to all of you 64 bit systems can support how much ram on the screen for you 32 bit systems olden days can support up to 4 gb ram 64 bit systems can support up to 7 to 8 tb practically practically means today's generation right now sir but their support is 16 eb 16 exabyte that much ram they can have uh, sir uh, uh, we have one server in our office environment which is 2 tb ram sir i'm not talking about hard drive i'm talking about ram uh-huh. it's normally in gbs right i'm telling 2 tb ram a terabyte of ram tb this is a 2 terabyte hard drive just a small normal hard drive sir. so i'm talking about a ram device ram chip sir. ram ram chip yeah ram chip which you fit on the motherboard or your phone also has a ram slot in it so 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 sir to tb ram we have i have a friend i have heard about so they have around 2.5 tb ram 3 tb ram has come up so so, so what i'm saying we are reaching there sir. now now servers laptops nahi servers we are reaching there pakka i'm telling you sir next 5 6 years or 7 years from now you will be having a laptop with a pakka pakka 200% 500 gb ram definitely not hard drive ram and top so so that's all sir. so now 32 bit systems are slower systems 32 bit systems have a limit of 4 gb ram 64 bit systems are obviously faster double the speeds and 64 bit systems can have a ram of 7 to 8 tb practically sir there are many other points i can talk now but i don't want to confuse anybody here so simple two points we picked up that between difference between 32 bit and 64 bit so one thing uh, as I showed you just now, 2 to the power of 32 is equal to how much? That number that came in bytes. If you convert that into kilobytes, this much it will come. If you convert that into megabytes, it will come this much. Sir. And finally, if you convert that into gigabytes, it will come as 4 GB. Same way, 2 to the power of 64 number is this much. Sir. If you ding, 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 do all the conversions, it will reach to how much? 16 exabytes. So it- TB, but practically as of today, seven to eight TB is the practical mode, and we are reaching. That. So shortly, hardware manufacturers will find even better RAM. So I'm telling you again, every system needs a RAM. Nothing. Okay. So I, I will I will take a minute here. So sorry. Take a notepad, sir. Small question to all of you. Take a notepad. You all use notepad in a Windows. So type a story here. Um, type a story. No, not, not, I'm not typing any stories. I'm pressing F5. If you type F5 key, date and time will be displayed there in Notepad. So I'm doing it now. So my question to all of you is, sir, this content is stored where now? This, all, this much of data you stored, right? Where did, you, did I save it? Did I save this file, sir? I did not save it yet. So where it is stored, sir? RAM. Whatever temp- whatever you store in a system, like, like temporary, te- yeah, everything will go to RAM. Temporarily, it stores in RAM. So every laptop needs RAM hardware. Sorry, sir. RAM processor and hard drive. If I save it, 
if i then save it, will it go to the hard disk. then it will go to the hard drive if i am not saving it it stays in the ram and then by chance my i power off my laptop now i lose this content anything stored in ram is temporary so okay thank you for your patience moving on back sir sql server also needs ram please remember sir sql server cannot in cannot be working without ram okay done done that's all sir now 32 bit systems you saw 64 bit systems you saw itanium sir itanium is also one type of hardware which does not exist anymore sir if your cpu is 32 bit obviously your operating system must be 32 bit and then your application application the software that you are installing must be 32 bit all three must be 32 bit sir if your sql server is uh, sorry cpu for hardware is 32 bit operating system is 64 bit how can you install 64 bit applications doesn't work doesn't fit there first of all will 32 fit 64 fit inside 32 no way so so like that sir all combinations are no if you can see if all three are 64 bit will be better so sir all 32 all 64 is the ideal combination one minute sir one minute not finished on a 64 bit sir please watch this on a 64 bit processor processor is so powerful very powerful processor on that i am installing 32 bit operating system which will fit 32 will fit inside 64 possible and then on that i am installing 32 bit sql server sql server is 32 bit so what will happen sir it's something like giving a michael shoemaker maruti 800 and asking him to drive it is as simple as it sounds so processor is so powerful sir but you are giving the person a very low configuration device and saying run this one. so 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 something like that is that clear so don't do this is th these two combinations are very bad uh, if all 64 all 32 is better all of you sir before installing sql server sorry before installing sql server what we should do is check processor processor Operating system. Operating system. Operating system. RAM. RAM. Uh, that hardware part is also important. I am not saying no, but majorly, sir. Check processor. Processor. Check operating system. Operating system. Check the application. So, if my hardware is that is sixty four bit, my operating system also must be Windows. Windows must be sixty four bit, and SQL Server definitely must be sixty four bit. If I am installing VLC player, sir, VLC player. See, operating system will be hardware will be sixty four bit. Operating system will be sixty four bit. VLC player also must be sixty four bit. One minute, sir. Is it is sixty four bit VLC player sixty four bit? Let's watch VLC player download. No, it's only that. Okay, so let's go to VLC player, sir. Website of VLC player. Here it is. Website of VLC player, sir. And shall I download this now? May I download this? Yeah, it is there. Sixty-four. It is showing. Uh, where do you see, sir? I do not see anything like Just that. Just drop down. No, no, there itself. Download. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Sixty-four version. So yes. For sixty-four. So yes. So it it is available. It is available. Everybody clear, sir? So when you install an application, always double check. Is it thirty-two bit or sixty-four bit, sir? That's very very important. All of you. Now one one minute, sir. Uh, go to C colon. Go to C drive. Go to uh, C drive. Huh? Uh, and when you install software right sir do you see two folders here program yes. files normal yes, program 64. files will contain 64 bit 64 in brackets if you have x86 so by the way one question that might come up from your side x86 means 32 bit then kerry how come 86 becomes 32 what nonsense are you talking no will not trust you so you have to trust me nothing i can do so 32 sir 86 x86 means 32 bit uh why did that name come x86 hardware sir in purana zamana most some of you would not even born by that time if i am not wrong so i was also not born by that time so so sir, sir uh, at that time microsoft really uh, sorry sir uh, intel released or intel or whatever company 16 bit Okay, are sir so eight bit, sixteen bit, eight bit processors came, sixteen bit processors came, thirty two bit came. Today we are at sixty four. Sir, sixty four bit is sufficient for our next generation also. But we never know. Any new hardware comes, one twenty eight bit is also required. We never know. As of now, we are happy with sixty four bit. We are happy with sixty four bit, sir. Now look at this. In olden days, sir, 
8086 is what they used to call 80186 80286 80386 80486 that was the family of processors sir so remove 801 802 803 804 they simply started calling it as what x86, x86 and x86. all of them belong to 32 bit family most of them some are 16 bit also this is what this is 16 bit this is what this is also um, 16 bit this is what sir 32 bit this is what sir 32 bit so all of them are the family bit. of old that's why they commonly say as x86 x86 means 32 bit sir. don't say x32 anytime okay so that's also so here whatever application that you install vlc player if your vlc player is 64 bit it will go here if your vlc player is 32 bit it will go here depending on the application that you are installing say so it goes into the respective folder yes Sadish. what's the question sir sir when we open sbi website it shows as 256 bit encryption uh, that is different so so that is from the encryption point of view they have some styles of encryption so we will discuss that in our backup topic i will explain you what is exactly encryption what is the 256 bit 128 bit that's completely different topic Okay, done. And you said, sir, you should be called me KD because you're already one week old. Done. So, so, so moving on, sir. Next topic. Sir, question to all of you. So, what will you check now? So, I'll take a small notepad. <coughs> uh, let's say, Shushanvi, you want to install SQL Server on a system. So, what is that you'll verify, first of all? 32 bit or 64 bit. First major check. Second check is what? What is the processor? I mean, sorry, the same, same thing, same thing. What is the processor? It's 32 bit or 64 bit. Next is operating system. OS. Operating system. Uh, operating system. OS. And then you verify application, application that you are installing is 32 bit or, or 64 bit. Yeah, or 64 bit. And OS also same thing, sir. All of you will check whether it is operating system is 32 bit or 64 bit. Good, good. Additionally, sorry, all of you. Additionally, what we have to check is what is the. Sorry, mute everybody. Uh, additionally, what you have to check is, sir, what is the hardware? Okay, so processor already you came to know, right? So is it Intel i3 or is it Intel i5? Is it Intel i7? Or is it Intel i9? These are what, sir? Processors in the market. Uh, laptop processors they are. Laptop or desktop processors. Okay, sir? Every processor will have how many cores? Depends on the manufacturer. How many processors are there? Depends on the manufacturer. Okay, good, sir. Next, what will you verify? Okay, server, server, server processors are... Everybody, sorry for interrupting if there's any question. Just a minute, please. So, server processors are, there are many, X3, E3, I'm sorry, E3, uh, E5, E7, uh, or, or D3, D5, D7. Sir, I'm only talking about Intel, Intel company. We also have AMD company. AMD mm -hmm. is one more company which sells the processors. So, Intel or AMD or whichever company, sir, so you should always check the processor. What type of processor you have in your laptop or server also. So most of the DBS don't do all this. I'm, I'm not, see, let's be frank. Installation, huh? okay. Tuck, tuck, tuck. Open the software. Tick, tick, tick. Next. Tick, 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 tick. They click, tick, tick. Next, sir. And installation gets finished. Nobody cares that, should I check? It's 32 bit or 64 bit, sir. People are busy. They don't have time to spend five minutes to verify before whatever they're doing, am I checking the right thing or not? Am I doing the right thing or not? Next one, sir. So processor, you should check, right? So everybody, so what else will you check? From hardware side, sir, hardware side, check the processor. Check the processor force and speed of the processor. Okay, sir, clear? Speed of the processor. Next one, sir. second, check RAM of the system. How much RAM you have? Then check what, sir? Hard drive in your system. 
So simply checking these three are not sufficient. You should also be checking the hardware as somebody said just now. Are you clear? Okay, now, sir, let's do one. Thing. Let's check about my laptop. MS Info 32, simple command, start, run, run, type MS Info 32. It will tell you what is the processor in my system. So what, what is the processor I have, sir? How many cores I have? Two physical it's cores. A, it's an it's a i5, i5 processor. Two, two cores I have. And sir, what is the speed of the processor? 1.9 1. 1. 9 gigahertz. gigahertz. 1.9 gigahertz. Sir, everybody, processor is measured in giga, in hertz, HZ. Hertz. So don't need to worry about who, what is hertz and all that. Not required, sir. But processor speed is measured in hertz. Um, okay, that is one important thing. Everybody clear? So all of you, so you should also check in your office what is this. A very, very important thing. Speed, speed. Okay, now, one second, sir. What is speed of Chitti? Rajnika, Robo, 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 Robo. Rajnika and the Robo. Speed one terabyte something he was telling. Speed one terabyte, uh, terabyte. Speed cannot be byte, right? So byte is storage. Okay. So what is speed of Chitti? Processor. Chitti is a new next generation processor. Sir. Two terahertz. Two terahertz, huh? is it? One second. Are you sure? One terahertz, right? One zeta byte, I believe. It's, no, no, byte is storage. Sir. I think you're talking about storage. Chitti yes. character. <laughs> Speed one zeta. Mm. Search for speed. Oh. So sorry, not wasting time, but I want to show you what is the power of Chitti and what is the speed power of one your, your, your Chitti one laptop. And, it is. Yeah, it's written here, sir. One terahertz. Memory of one zeta. Mem 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 memory, memory will go. We have not gone to memory yet. So Chitti speed is this one. So now Chitti, how many cores he has, we don't know. Uh, I think we have to ask Shankar only. So, the yes. so, so, so one terahertz of terahertz means you just watch once now. What you we are in gigahertz, sir. That's the best processor. Okay, now I don't have a best processor, but what is the best processor in the market today? Maybe around five gigahertz maximum. After giga comes how much? Tera. Thousand giga is equal to one tera. Chitti is. Thousand How many times? times? Than... Yeah, no, actually not. My laptop, okay, right? Thousand... 500 laptop, yes. times. Minus 500 two, times. Right? 2 gigahertz. Chitti is 1000 terahertz, sir. 500 times faster than my system or your system. So, so, so why I'm comparing it is because their processors are measured in hertz. Uh, so, by the way, this is a fictional character. We don't have a terahertz processor in the market still. We don't have. We have only gigahertz at this moment. Done. Okay. So, next. RAM, hard drive, hard drive, hard drive. We have uh, uh, petabyte PB hard drives. We have petabyte. So uh, no, everybody, so sorry uh, if I'm just comfortably talking about these things without discussing this one important aspect with you all. So bit <clears throat> in every computer storage starts with the minimum as bit. Bit means one or a zero. Now, if you are storing one, so four bits is called as one nibble. 8 bits is called as 1 byte. So, small question to all of you. If I am storing the alphabet A, alphabet A occupies how much space in the system, sir? 1 byte. Mm -hmm. That means one letter that you store, A or B or C, whatever, one letter occupies 1 byte. Uh, I am repeating to all of you, sir. If you install, uh, if you create one, if you store characters, you store data inside SQL Server, right? We store data, employee number, employee name, salary, and all that, sir. We store data inside SQL Server. Every letter that you store, character, every character data that you store occupies one byte. So, kilobyte means 1,000 characters. Sir. Megabyte means 1,000 into 1,000. 1 lakh characters. So, that's what I mean. Gigabyte means even more, sir. Terabyte. Petabyte. Exabyte. Zettabyte. Yota byte, Bronto byte. This is the total storage evolution. Chitti is at where? Zeta byte. Chitti, Chitti. Zeta byte. Zeta byte. Yeah, so Chitti storage is Zeta byte. Sir. Zeta. 
Okay. Just now we are using what storage yeah. in the market right now, sir. I'm sorry. I'm comparing with city and telling because that's the next generation superhero character of India we have. I'm not talking about US and all. Uh, Iron Man configuration. I don't know, sir. So at least Microsoft, this guys, Shankar and all revealed. I'm talking about it. So, sir, Chitty is here. Okay. SQL Server is where? SQL Server can store up to uh, exabyte now. Sorry, sir. Petabytes now. Oracle can store up to exabyte now. SQL Server is here. Oracle is here. So Chitty is here. So, so, so any questions anybody has? So checking hardware is important. Checking processor is important. Now I'm starting installation. Not now means not now tomorrow because class time is almost up. So any questions anybody have till now, sir? Time to install now. Uh, as a DBA, we will be responsible for installation as well as uh, by checking all these things. Is it? Yeah, or absolutely. we will be just managing? No, no, no. It's our responsibility to verify everything. What is the hardware that I have? What is the SQL Server version I'm installing? Did, uh, is it compatible? Will it fit or not? These questions is what you need to verify. Sir. Obviously, okay, right? Thanks. SQL Server 64 bit. Now, in your office, they gave you SQL Server 64 bit, sir. Gautam. And they're asking you to install this in 32 bit hardware. It will not even install, right? So, okay. so we will deny and say, hey, what have what you given me? You have given me SQL Server 64 bit and you're asking me to install in 32 bit. It will not work. Without even starting installation, you can tell them. Yes. So that's why that's why these checks are important. That's why we are spending some time on them, sir. Okay, everyone, uh, any questions anybody has, sir? If not, I will go to the next topic quickly. KD, we have a question in the chat. Oh, sorry, I didn't see it. <laughs> What about Mac? So Mac, yes, yes. Uh, so Mac comes under networking, right? Because as of now, Mac address is what you're talking about, right? Hardware. It comes under networking. We still did not even go there. We will go there and then we'll talk about Mac. No, I think he's asking Apple, about the Apple. Mac uh, operating system, not the Windows environment. <laughs> okay. So actually, Mac and yeah. So yes, I'm a strict Apple hater. So sorry, my mind even did not think in that direction, sir. I'm extremely sorry. So SQL Server cannot be installed in a Mac system. On an Apple Macintosh, SQL Server cannot be installed as of today. No, they have to install parallel or otherwise virtual machine and they have to... Directly, internet, directly, in, directly, not directly possible. in a Mac laptop, it's not possible. So if anybody is using a Mac laptop, sir, <clears throat> I could seal it, keep it aside. Or, or one more option you have. As just now Gautam mentioned, install a virtual machine in it. Okay, Windows virtual machine, then use it. We will discuss all these things. Uh, one more thing, I have good news for you, Yash Patel. One good news, sir. SQL Server Linux has been launched recently. That is possible in a Mac. SQL Server on Linux is possible on a Mac. Windows SQL Server is not possible. On a Mac. Okay. Yes, sir. Go ahead. In server, I know in Windows as an application we will be installing SQL. In server, we should we install Windows and then install my SQL. Uh, Windows job is not ours, right? So installing Windows operating system is, there will be a separate Windows team. They will be finishing that and uh, handing over to us. Huh? So we will be doing uh, SQL server. There is other, another team who will be doing Windows operating system installation. So OS team will take care of it. Okay, done. So thanks everyone. Let's move to the topic now. So, um, again. so <clears throat> not only that much. Uh, Rashika, is there a hand raise? Was there a question, sir? Yeah, actually, can you please let me know all the pre-requirements for the installation, sir? On the screen now. Do you see on the screen now? Yeah. Okay. So, everyone, the list doesn't end there. I'm so sorry. The points by points are getting added now. So, to install SQL Server, sir, it's, it's just not that. See, of course, you will check the hardware. You will check the... I mean, processor speed, I mean to say, what is processor I have? Huh? What is the operating system you have? What is the uh, application, application that you are installing? These three things you will verify. Plus, the what type of processor you have, huh? RAM, how much you have. These things also you verify. Right? So the list is on the screen now. So to install SQL Server, what all I need? So this is the complete list that you need to install SQL Server. I know, I mean, I can completely understand, sir, one shot, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm always thinking about a few people in mind who are coming to this for the first time. 
people who have experience requesting all of you to have a little patience because once we kick start the speed then we will kick start but till then sir it will be the same based on i'm extremely sorry if i'm uh, if any of you are already knowledgeable on all these things these things are going very layman for you very very basic for you so i'll pay just money in canada or i just teach in hindi so much me just avandi in telugu tamil i don't know sir so respective language i can it just a little please done with that being said sir operating system so what do you need first by the way today we can't complete it i'm just starting the list at least read through the list operating system minimum levels see okay so does it mean that now i have sql server 2019 the latest version hmm? windows very old version i have sir. very very old version of windows this this 19 fit there no way no way it will fit so there is a there is a there is a version compatibility this will fit here as somebody said right if i wear a bell bottom and go outside now how does it look that's it as simple. okay it could be a retro style with a different story but but doesn't fit to the generation right now so, so the sql server the latest one will not fit in the old one doesn't fit so that's it so you should check what is the compatibility which i will show you tomorrow next one sir Mm, patching also i will explain you tomorrow so dot net framework a beautiful concept if today sql server is so much successful today sql server is beating oracle and standing as number one sir one of the important roles that plays is dot net framework also what do you mean by dot net framework sir the graphical appearance sir are why will people be fans of apple you tell me please i hate but doesn't mean that everybody must be right so, so what why is apple so famous because of their wonderful ui right you user in the faster accessing uh, very fast and security all these reasons they will tell but we also have those yeah, hardware so, and software will be tightly coupled yeah okay so if you are praising <laughs> apple uh, somebody may like it but <laughs> no, but on a on a serious note so that is true whatever gautam said is absolutely true hardware and software are very well properly designed and because both are there they have designed it well so ui sir retina display oh my god i think though i hate sometimes i have to say yes for it because the retina display of apple is like comes from samsung sir first <laughs> let, let you all know aware about it. the retina display that you are appreciating a lot for apple comes from samsung phone samsung device so jokes apart on a serious note sir the ui is wonderful graphically so designed people like the ecosystem people love to be there some of you or most of you so so apple is a different world same way sir microsoft sql server has also got that visual wonders very very nice graphical screens and graphical options because of dot net framework so dot net framework is compulsory for sql server without dot net framework you can't install sql server we talked about hardware now i am talking about extra things that are required so uh, additional thing uh, sorry for disturbing the dot net framework whichever which comes with the windows default is enough for this sql server or not enough, have to not check uh, because windows okay. may come with the latest one with the old one That's so it. every sql server needs so what is dot net framework i have not explained so tomorrow i will tell you all i have not even shown you what is dot net framework we will see tomorrow so these all things i will be showing you So, if you have all these things in your system, sir, then you should go ahead and perform the installation. Don't blindly go. Somebody gave me a software, I will start the installation and decide. Come on, man. mature people. Mature people will not do that. If somebody wants to do it, it's their choice. So, so um, that's all. Sir. So, IIS is required. PowerShell is required. Windows installer is required. So, Rashikar, these are your. These are our overall requirements. Sir. Tomorrow. I will write down a small list because we are doing which version? Two thousand five, right, sir? For SQL Server two thousand five. Ah, what all things we need? So I have a notepad. I can show now also, but I want to show you tomorrow because it is time off for today. So I will show you the complete list of two thousand five. What all things you need? How you have to install SQL Server? Ravi Salar, <clears throat> today you are not active, sir. All good? Done. Any 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 um, questions? Any bit? And I love Suha's background. I was been seeing it from a long time. Out of space. Uh, hi, KD. Yes, please. Yeah, uh, SQL Server supports uh, Windows 32 bit or not? SQL Server supports 32 bit. SQL Server 2005. One second, let me mute Sahil. Yeah. So SQL Server 2005. SQL hmm. Server 2005 supports both 32 bit and 64 bit. 
but but uh, but subani uh, not only 2005 sir 2008 also supports 32 bit 64 bit 2008 r2 also that supports 32 bit 64 bit one second in sql server 2012 something happened sir later on something happened so at some places microsoft dropped and said hey 32 you're gone i don't want you anymore and where it is, I will show during the process. Let's do all the installations, then you'll come to me. So only on installations, we are going to spend one week. Uh, don't think it is, are installation means open, tick, 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 next, finished. I understand, but that's not our installation, sir. So what everybody, what I'm saying is installation, when it comes to it exclusively, sir, you should know how to install every feature, every screen you should know. The purpose of the screen, value of the screen which are not required, we'll only skip it directly. But sir, having full-fledged clarity on installation is very, very important. If installation skills are good, our next topic will be much more easier and interesting. You'll come to me. You think with that, sir? Sorry for extending my five minutes. Any questions anybody has? 7.40 a.m. to 9 a.m. is our class timing, sir. Gradually from next week, we'll take up more discipline track. But still, the class will start at 7.40, sir. Please join and uh, let's 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 talk more starting tomorrow.